all the conversation, because long story short, Channel 2, I believe it was Channel 2, um, had uh, mentioned, and again, it wasn't a big, not a big to-do is being made about it, but it's something to be aware of, yeah, that the Pagulas are having a, uh, a meeting about the development of a bunch of property that they own down by the Harbor Center. Right in the same block. I'm done. So, you know what? You, what? When you said down by the harbor side, I just picture Chris Farley. In a, in a van, van down by the river. <laughs> Click the bell to join Hashtag Nation. You want to try that one again? <laughs> That's all I saw. <laughs> You're going to be eating a steady diet of government cheese. Can you imagine if John Butler was still our GM? <laughs> so we run into a situation where, again, the Bills have sent out a survey about would you enjoy a downtown stadium? What do you like about the current stadium? Would you like to see that improved? The Bills just spent a ton of money in the field house operations. Yes. Right? So again, there's a little bit of shift here that I feel is coming, and I'm gonna bring this up now. I really feel like the Bills are shifting away from St. John Fisher. That was a Russ Brandon thing. It was a Russ Brandon thing because he had connections to St. John Fisher with Ralph, and that Ralph yeah. loves St. John Fisher, so that, but Brandon's not here anymore. And St. John Fisher is something that they tried to shift away from last year by moving some of the off-season stuff to, to mm. Buffalo. Now that they've got that facility, where would you rather be? Would you rather be at St. John Fisher, or are you finishing your contract out to stay with the, the facilities that they have in Buffalo? You're staying at Buffalo now, right? So is it Very possible that they could keep this, keep all the facilities at Buffalo and that's where they spend their preseason? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely it is. Now here's the thing, right? because I'm going to come off sounding a super fan here because I don't know the logistics of moving a stadium downtown. Mm -hmm. Because, you, you, like you said, the progression of it seems to be you take the stadium, it's going to move downtown, mm -hmm. that now Fisher practices go to Orchard Park. Right. And you got all that stuff there. That's, that's basically that what you're saying, right? it's, amazing. it's amazing. It's, it's unbelievable. amazing. It's unbelievable. I mean, I've practiced in there before. It's absolutely amazing. The thing about it because uh, I don't know a lot of the logistics of how to move a stadium into the city. Mm -hmm. It's much different. I'm going to give my super fan, well, where are we going to tailgate? The great thing about Orchard Park is point. that there's so much room for everything. So much room for activities. So much room for activities. <laughs> I said no power tools. Uh, what? 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 It's <laughs> <That's laughs> <that's laughs> <that's laughs> <that's laughs> The initial reaction from a lot of super fans is going to be, well, the tailgate experience is such a big part of going to a Bills game. Mm -hmm. It's not, not the experience. I'm not, not talking about going through tables either. I'm talking about people that join together, have a good time, grill, do all that stuff. It's a really good time. Uh, how is that going to be affected going downtown in this city? How is this city different from Orchard Park? Well, logistically. To, yeah, you look at the area that they own, right? And could yeah. you could you get enough people parked? They have the they, they have Harbor Center for some parking. They'd have to build a major parking ramp. But now you're looking at your ramp parking for everything. And if you don't uh, think that's going to be policed, you're crazy, right? Oh, so moving, this, moving it downtown, if I were a developer in downtown and they start building a stadium, I personally am buying as much land as I can to build a parking lot and shuttle people to the stadium. Ooh. So that you can keep the tailgate experience, because that's the one thing I think you need to preserve as a Bills, as a Bills family, is that tailgate experience, right? Well, and the Bills don't really love the tailgate experience; they want a family friendly. But there's a lot of liability that comes with that, and I understand them saying that they need to be separate from that. Yeah, right? they get yeah. a lot of free press out of it too. So again, this is, it's well, yeah, the, the, you the, have to maintain your distance. The brass and the and maybe the you know the, the law enforcement and the community. Mm -hmm that live around Orchard Park yeah. may be like, listen, this has to stop. Yeah. We're tired of this. Yeah. Even those guys that charge 10 bucks for you to park on their lawn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's a lot of liability. The, yeah, there is. So I don't understand, oh man, if, imagine they had a parking ramp with like built-in grills. 
It could be. They could make it very cool. Uh, yeah. However, yeah. again, once you start building the facility, if you build it, they will come. Well, there's a problem sometimes when they get there because there's a lot of liability. <laughs> you have to start weighing risk management, right? Yeah. But is a stadium downtown going to happen? The Bills have been too adamant about trying to figure out how to make it happen that I feel like it's just an, it's inevitable. So you have to start looking at, well, how do we preserve as much of the experience as we can? I know you want to keep the stadium in Orchard Park. Yep. I know you do, right? Yeah, I mean, just because, uh, I'm, not, that, not that I'm afraid of change. I'm right. just saying some of the things that have become tradition with a lot of Bills fans that consistently go to the game, you're right. consistently selling out games. I don't know if you'd have that same type of deal if you decide to bring it downtown. And I, I know I understand your perspective of it. It's, mm-hmm. They're not just saying it just to, to talk about it, to right. try to see what the fan reaction would be. They actually want to do that. They want to have all Buffalo sports centralized in Buffalo. Mm-hmm. It makes sense. Yeah, they want their all their facilities right downtown. I mean, Orchard Park is farther away from Buffalo than the Meta, the Meta, MetLife Stadium is from New York, New York City. City. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah weird. Right. I mean, very different travel experience. You know, from an infrastructure standpoint, I think we all would like to get in and out of, um, you know, in and out of the stadium, in oh, Orchard yeah. Park faster. But I can't necessarily say that, like, downtown would fix that. I, there's a lot of ways to disperse, sure. Yeah. But, I mean, it took me an hour to get to a Kevin Hart concert at the Key Bank Center. Like, it's just... I it's, can't get out of Buffalo at 4 o'clock on any day. Right, exactly. So I can't say that, that moving the stadium downtown is an improvement from an infrastructure standpoint because you're still going to be in traffic for an hour. It doesn't matter. Yeah, that's not. You're going to. And no. part of the fun of Orchard Park is you're cutting through a bunch of residential streets trying to get out of there. Everybody's got their own way to and from the stadium. <laughs> oh, I got, a, I got a spot. I got yeah, I got. Oh, no, I got, I, got, I got my spot. Don't worry. We're good. We're good. I'll get us out of there. It's fun. It adds to the experience. But it, with the way that the NFL is run, they're going to want the stadium downtown, whether it's for the betterment of the city or not. They don't, they don't care. It doesn't matter to them whether it's for the betterment of the city. But the fact that the, that the Pagulas have a development meeting coming up about all this land, two plots of land actually, because there's land across the there's land across the canal and land on the other side of the canal. They could actually have a tailgating lot far, far away from the stadium. And then it is very possible that they can either run shuttles or even a, a boat from the light, from the lakefront uh, parking lot on. over to the stadium. The first now, Yahoo me, that jumps off of that day. I understand, boat. again, liability. But the truth is that they're talking about development of all this property. And it is a possibility that they could do it. Does, would that change for you? If they offered tailgating far, far well, away, like over by, over by like Riverworks. If they offered yeah. like far, far away. And they would offer shuttle services to the stadium. Would that change your mind? Well, I'm at a different point now. Okay. Because, A, I I don't go to a lot of games because I'm not a big fan of the, you know, I'm past the point in my life of running into 17 drunks and trying to to pacify them. Be like, listen, dude, I don't want to fight you. I was just going to the bathroom. I'm sorry I bumped into you. Mm -hmm. You know, stuff like that. But the thing, if you're able to say, okay, what is the... Because I'm going to come at it from a number standpoint. Mm-hmm. If you're talking about how much room, how much tailgating space is used in Buffalo on a weekly basis for the games, okay. If we're able to replicate that amount of space mm-hmm. for people, and then here we're accounting for that. That's pretty interesting that you said it. We're accounting for the fact that you guys love tailgating. It's one of the part. Of, it's part of the experience. We're offering a service for you to get to and from the game safely. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I don't know. Are you going to check people's bags before they get on the shuttle? That's what I mean, yeah. Uh, and then they're going to go into the stadium. Are they going to do it after? I mean, is there going to be a cager on the driver? Because there's going to be some crazy it's, stuff going on. It's going to be on. like the Blues Brothers where they're throwing bottles at the glass, yeah. at, the, at the chicken wire. I like the idea. Game. If you're trying to account, if you're trying to replicate the experience, but getting out of there, I think, is something yeah, that they can't problem. account for that's going to be insane. Yeah, I don't think getting out of there is, is going to be a positive experience. I, I all see the, that concern. All the space that's around Orchard Park, you still you're still stuck there for a half hour. Yeah, um, I think one of the one of the things that makes Buffalo so different from Cleveland makes Buffalo so different from um, uh, the, Pittsburgh. The, uh, Pit, even yeah, even even Pittsburgh. They're right? close. They are that's very close. Um, Buffalo has space that is unchartered. Like, the Bills don't own all that property, right? People get there, 
and they can enjoy the pregame experience without being on the Bills property, right? So the Bills can look at the footprint that they have and say, well, this is the space that we need. But there's so much more space taken up around the stadium from people who rent their property you know, to folks for the game day experience by having you park on their lawn. And unfortunately, the amount of space that Bills fans take up is massive. Yes. And there's no way that Buffalo can absorb that surrounding space nope. the way that Orchard Park already has. Yeah, Orchard Park has adapted right to the space. And you do have to question if you were just going to go to the game instead of going and tailgating. Right? Yeah. So if you and your buddies, you know, you, you've you been getting season tickets for 15 years. You've got a tailgate experience. You've got your little grill. You set it up. It's every Sunday. Rain, shine, cold, snow, sleet, whatever. What what does that change if you remove those three hours that you spend together before the game? Does that make going to the game even worth it for you at that point? You know, you really do have to question. I it's, think a lot of people not, enjoy that part of it. I agree. I, I look at it as it's great time to spend with people that you care about. That's what you do to tailgate. You're not yeah. going, you're not tailgating to be lonely. You're tailgating to be part of a family and spend time with the ones that you care about. I have just a little concern that when you move that downtown, the footprint isn't going to be there to continue that experience. I would be totally fine, truthfully speaking, if they tore down New Era, right? Or not, yeah, if they tore down New Era, the Bills play two seasons at UB. Play two seasons. UB could have could absorb it for the most part. Ooh, that stadium's tough. I understand, but from a capacity standpoint, it's the best chance you have to get as many people in there as you can, right? It's not the most ideal situation. It's not the carrier dome. It's not the carrier dome. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> which is three hours away, right? <laughs> UB is the next biggest stadium, and it's it's serviceable yes. for a year while you build a new stadium in Orchard Park. Oh, you're talking about a new one. Build a new stadium in Orchard Park. If you're going to build a new stadium, keep it in Orchard Park. But if you're going to build a new stadium downtown, you have to understand that I can see the there's going to be some, there's going to be some there's going to be some struggle. I see it too. I mean, you look at a lot of the big time cities. That's what that's what it is, Paul. I mean, they they show a blimp, and you're seeing the baseball stadium across from, or the hockey mm -hmm. arena away from the, the right. football stadium and, and, and the baseball, and they're right. all right there. Yep, and they all share parking facilities. But yeah. in Buffalo, I can't be convinced that that blueprint works. That's what makes that Buffalo so unique in that respect. Right. And I, as much as the the complaints may be about the tailgating and, 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 and some of the guys that take it a little too far with the tailgating, it's still an experience that no one gets anywhere else. Yeah. And... If, I believe that if you're going to do move the stadium downtown, you're taking that away from the Bills fans. Mm -hmm. the Is it going to be prettier from uh, you know an overhead shot? Sure, it'll be prettier in an overhead shot. Are but, all your business ventures going to be in one area now? You can have your office in one area, and mm -hmm. you can go to both the Saber, you know the. Yeah, it's the Pagula Sports and Entertainment yeah. is all centralized. Mm -hmm. But I used to live near downtown Buffalo, and I can promise you that when it snows, I'd rather be in Orchard Park. Even though oh, there may yeah. be more snow, there might be more snow in Orchard Park, I know that it's at least taken care of to make sure that you can get to and from Bills games. You can't replace that, that opening, how big it is, how yeah. open it is. I, would Bills fans, it, let me ask you a counter question, would Bills fans tolerate one season at the University of Buffalo, North Campus, at that football stadium? Would they tolerate one season to get a new stadium in Orchard Those Park? that don't want it move downtown would. Those that, those that want, that, or that, that wouldn't mind it, I think, going downtown, they would still be like, whatever. Uh -huh. like, I, don't, I, don't, I don't care. Like, uh, I, I mean, there's parking there in that complex area, but there's, you're looking at You're talking about liability capacity. for the college now. Yeah. Well, yeah. Again, there's a lot of issues here, but, you know, you there's multiple things that you have to weigh. Do I see them building a stadium downtown? Regardless of what fans want, I do see it happening. How much of that is going to be, um, you know, how much is that tailgate experience going to be compromised? I think they'll take it into account, but um, at the same point, they, they have to keep it separate be because of the liability. So, I don't know, man. What do you think? I don't know what they think. Oh, yeah, yeah. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments. Are, what would you do? There's three scenarios here, right? 
Moving the stadium downtown, are you good with that? Keeping it in Orchard Park and just continuing to try and renovate New Era, are you good with that? Or would you tolerate a season at UB to build a new stadium in Orchard Park? I think it'd have to be two. Just because the influxes of how the weather is around here, it'd probably have to be two years. Maybe. Two seasons, Maybe. I would say. All right.